In this video, Kevin and I are going to be answering the would you rather questions from the community page on my YouTube channel for uh, from the month of July. So um, I'm just going to dig right in, get started. Would you rather work in a museum or in a library? Mm, library. Me too. I'm going to say library as well. Uh, well, there's more to do there. Once you've seen all the exhibits in a museum, you're kind of done. The library, I agree, you can get books. But we're, books. but we're in the minority. Oh, really? But, yes. The majority, 63% said in a museum. 37% said in a library. Hmm. So I don't know what the thought process is. I do think it depends on which museum. That's true. But I do think you're right, and that's the same thing I think of. Once you've seen it, you've seen it. Yeah. There's probably a lot more work in a library. I think so like too. Putting books like, back, taking checking out people. There's probably you probably got to work a lot harder. And I, library, but, yeah, but I like I would rather stay busy. Yeah, that's true too. Um, I like to stay busy. Okay, would you rather work as an Oompa Loompa in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory or be a lollipop kid in The Wizard of Oz? Uh, Oompa Loompa. I'm gonna say Oompa Loompa too. Yeah, I would much rather work in the Chocolate Factory. Uh, the lollipop kid in the Wizard of Oz, I don't know. I wouldn't want to have to deal with the, the witches and... Um, you don't know what they do. 77% uh, said Willy Wonka. 23 oh, yeah. said the lollipop kid. Would you rather own a porch swing or a tire swing? Mm, probably a porch swing. I'm going to say porch swing as well. 89% said porch swing, only 11 said tire swing. Tire swings are uncomfortable. They're not very comfortable to sit in. I think that's for, yeah, for a certain age. Um, but, and I think once you get beyond that age, you know, you'd rather have the porch swing. Porch swing's more for everybody. Uh, would you rather date a movie star, a rock star? A oh, movie star. Movie star, definitely. Uh, Even if I don't like them, they're gone a lot of times, so, you know. Uh, the movie star, the rock stars you hear about, of course, depending on who it is and yeah. all that. Some of them are a little wild. Yeah, some of them are way too wild. Of course, wild. some of the movie stars are pretty wild too, so. Yes. Um, movie star, 76% yeah. would rather date a movie star than a rock star. Uh, would you rather eat more fruits or vegetables? Fruits. 72% said fruits. I agree. Definitely fruits. Would you rather eat grilled fish or breaded slash battered fish? Oh, battered for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, if it's not deep fried, I don't want it. <laughs> you can just keep it if it's not deep fried. I know fried. a lot of people like baked fish and stuff though, or grill. I, I just never cared for it. I think a lot of that too is what you grow up on, mm -hmm. uh, what you're raised with. And I was raised on Mrs. Paul's, <laughs> Gordon's. <laughs> frozen fish sticks. Frozen fish sticks. So yeah, give me the deep fried. Uh, Sixty-five percent of said Still the same close. thing. Um, Closer than I would have thought. Would you rather ride along with firefighters for one week or ride along with police officers for one week? Um, probably firefighters. I mean, it's not like you're going to be doing the work. You're just riding along with them going to calls. Right. I think you'd be bored though more in a fire department. Um, I'm. Uh, 60% said right along with firefighters. That is my answer too. Would you rather have a maid for the rest of your life or a professional chef for the rest of your life? Hmm. Probably the maid. I don't know. Somebody cooking for me all the time. Mm -hmm. Of course, they'd have to cook healthy stuff, so... No, they no, don't have to cook say, all these stuff. They, they would for me. It, they can't cook good stuff because I can't eat all that. Oh. Um, no, I'd probably say I made. Keep things clean. I'm going to say made. Of course, I got a made. We're in the minority. We got a made. I got a made. I'm the maid. Uh, we're in the minority. Yeah. 55% uh, said they'd rather have a professional chef. I mean, I, we don't buy, I don't buy a lot of food to the profession. My grocery budget would go up at everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> professional chef. Yeah, so, I think the professional chef. Yeah, the maid chef. for me would be. Clean the house once a week, yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, would you, Where you don't have to do it. Would you rather lose your sense of smell or sense of taste? And I know before anyone says, a lot of people see, said these things go hand in hand. They do, but the point of this is to pick one. So even if they do probably go hand smell. in hand, just pick one. Uh, probably smell. Um, 
I would rather lose my sense of smell too. Uh, that is 87% said mm -hmm. sense of smell. Uh, would you rather someone see all of the text messages on your phone or pictures on your phone? Either one. I don't have either 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 one of them. You have to pick one. That's pictures. the game. I'll say pictures. I don't have any pictures, so you can see, um, see all the I would I rather have. someone see my pictures too, because uh, in fifty-five percent, it was very close. Fifty-five percent said pictures. Forty-five said text. I hardly have any pictures on my phone yeah, at all. And I don't keep, really, I don't keep text around. I mean, a few, but not a lot. I don't say, well, honestly, I don't save either one. Yeah. I clean, for me, um, I like a clutter-free zone, and I delete all the um, incoming calls I get probably once a week. I delete all my text messages probably once a week. But see, Ashley, like, week. has tons and tons and tons of pictures on her phone. Oh, my gosh. It, it would kill me. It, to me, it's clutter. It is the same thing as if I have... I've known lots of people that have pictures on their phone. I know they do, but yeah. in my mind... I don't. I just put it, take them on and put it on the computer. I don't want to see pictures, uh, like hundreds and hundreds of pictures on my phone, any more than I want to see a table piled with mail. It's Same a no-no. It's for me. It's all clutter, and I I clean it out. It's either use it, post it to Instagram, or get it off and store it on the computer. But I don't keep it on my phone. Um, would you rather have uh, one wish granted today? Or ten wishes granted, but ten years from now. Mm, I'll get the one today. I'll get the one today too. Yeah, I might die them all. Yeah, you might die. Them. <laughs> yeah, seventy-one percent said one today. Um, if you're young though, if you're really young, I would. If I was anything if I was, can happen. If I was ten or fifteen years younger, I probably would have said ten years later. I wouldn't. I still wouldn't have. But not now. <laughs> um, would you rather have your peanut butter crunchy or creamy? Crunchy. And I'm going to say creamy. 70% said creamy. You're weirdos. Uh, for Get out, crunchy. For waking up, would you rather use an alarm clock or your cell phone? Um, my phone's on the other room, so I'd rather really use an alarm clock. Um, it, it depended. If I would have to change the way I did my phone charging and everything, so I would just use an alarm clock. But I will say, when we were on vacation, we did use the cell phone. Yeah, we yeah. used the I don't cell mind phone. Use that one. Um, but for uh, for here at home, just the way things are set up, an alarm clock is what we what we use. Um, would you? Oh, and uh, eighty three percent said cell phone. Yeah, yeah, that's so a, most that's, people do. That's a product of our times. Uh, would you rather make a fashion statement or a political statement? Oh, fashion statement. Fashion statement, 65%. Yeah, political statements get you killed nowadays. Uh, <laughs> would you rather eat a warm gooey brownie or warm cinnamon roll? Brownie. Brownie. 54, this was so close. 54% said brownie. It's pretty close. 46 said cinnamon roll. That's crazy. Mm, I mean, I like a good cinnamon roll too, but I'd rather have the brownie. The brownie all day. Uh, would you rather sleep without pillows or blankets? Uh, blankets. My neck would be so stiff if I didn't have a pillow. Of course, you could always take a blanket and roll it up and put it under your head. Yeah, I'd rather... I'll, so, yeah, I'd, probably, I'd say without pillows. I'm going to say without pillows. Because I would just take a blanket and roll it up. Uh-huh. 66% said pillows. Mm -hmm. But I need I a, thought a about blanket. Thought about it, yeah. Even when we've had a time where, like, if, like, the uh, air conditioner, if it's gone out for some reason, um, w and it can be really, really hot during the summer, we've still used a sheet. Mm -hmm. Because it's just nice to have... It gives you something, it gives you a sense of security. Yeah. Um, would you rather have as a pet, Snoopy or Pluto? Um, Pluto. I'm going to say Snoopy. What do people say about the pillow and blanket? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Pillow, 66% said they'd rather sleep without pillows. Okay. That's right. You said that. Uh, would you rather have as a pet, Snoopy or Pluto? You said Pluto. I'm going to say Snoopy. 76% said they'd rather have Snoopy. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have as a pet Garfield or Tom from Tom and Jerry? Garfield. Garfield, definitely. 71% said Garfield. I love Tom and Jerry, 
but uh he's a little scrawny alley cat like looking thing yeah i want a fat fluffy cat that's gonna just that lay likes around. to eat yeah. <laughs> yeah garfield likes to eat lasagna he's kind of selfish you know he wants stuff for christmas um I'll, yeah uh would you rather lose feeling for a week in your legs or your arms uh probably my arms okay because it's not like you can... No, I'd rather use the middle legs. Because if anything, I could sit down and watch TV for a while. Um, and that's not saying you lose the use of your arms and legs. No, just the feeling. Just the feeling in your arms and legs. I'd probably rather I lose feelings in my legs than my arms. I'm going to say legs. Um, because your arms, Andrew, uh, our son Andrew, actually looks at the Would You Rather questions. And he actually called me over this one. He said, who in the world are these people that said they would, that they picked arms? But see, he was thinking of it wrong too. Because he said, uh, you I gotta eat. he said, you have to eat, you, you have, have to feed to, yourself. He you said, have to use the bathroom. Yeah, you have to wipe yourself. Uh, he but said, see, uh, but the question doesn't say you lose the use of your arms and legs. Have you ever, though, woke up in the middle of oh, the night? Oh, I know. It's numb. It's awful. And your hands are numb where but, you've but laid But you can still on. eat just because you can't feel them. I have literally I think a lot of people up, read that one wrong. I've, I've literally woken up with my hands so numb that I have had to use this hand to pick up this hand to make it do what I want to do. I don't want to you lose the yeah. filling in my hand. I, I would I would pick legs. Yeah. Would you ra uh, th that was fifty five percent said arms. Uh, would you rather try your hand at glass blowing or making pottery? Glass blowing. I've done pottery. It's fun, but I would say making pottery. Sixty nine percent yeah. said making. I've pottery. never done glass blowing. I've done pottery. Would you rather have uh, named after you a building or a street? I'm a building. This was interesting. Some of the comments under this one were interesting. The reasoning behind what they picked, whatever. Um, I'm going to say, what did you say? Building. I'm going to say, and I'd rather have a building too. I mean, once a building's named after you, they pretty much leave it there. And the building's there for, I mean, if they're built correctly, hundreds and hundreds I'm gonna and hundreds of years. I'm going to say building too. Uh, but 72% said straight. Yeah, I don't watch street games. But somebody had commented that uh, I thought it was interesting. They said that they wouldn't want a street named after them because uh, can you imagine like if somebody got killed on that street? Like it's in your name and then such and such got killed on it. But what they're not thinking of that that same person, what my response to that would be, uh, there's buildings right here in town where I know that people have gotten shot and killed. So yeah, your building might turn into a drug den. <laughs> you just yes, never know. Exactly. You don't know. But I want a library named after me. I, a building would be good. Like in House of Cards. Yeah, he was gonna, library or you know, like university building. Yeah. Or something that's respectable. Uh, would you rather hang out with Curious George or Winnie the Pooh? Uh, Winnie the Pooh. Curious George would wear me out. That, that monkey would drive me freaking nuts. <laughs> oh, definitely Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Uh, because he's, he's kind of lazy, slow, likes to eat. Slow, he he's, likes to eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying Winnie the Pooh uh, too. It's 75% of you agree. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh. That monkey would wear you out. Would you rather win an Olympic medal or hold a Guinness World Record? Probably an Olympic medal because I mean you can win. A, you can get a go. Uh, you can get a Guinness World Record for. For the longest silly, fingernails. Silly stuff. Yeah. But you had to put effort into getting a medal. You had to work for that for years. Yeah. So I'm going to say a, a, the Olympic medal too. 70% said yeah. the Olympic medal. Would you rather eat Tootsie Pops or Blow Pops? Uh, blow Pops. I'm going to say Blow Pops. We're in the minority again. Oh, really? Tootsie Pops is just one of those things. The sucker itself is good, but then you get to the middle and you're like... Ugh. I don't care for Tootsie Raw. Eh, it's just like, eh, it's okay. Well, 59% said Tootsie Pops. Yeah. I'll always love to blow pop and get to that gum in the center and chew that for maybe five minutes and then it's gone. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't. It doesn't last it. no time. Uh, would you rather eat Lifesavers or Jolly Ranchers? Uh, Jolly Ranchers. Uh, yeah, Jolly Ranchers. And I'm talking, when I ask this question... I wasn't specific. Some of these, Kevin's like, why are you so specific? Well, because if I'm not specific, somebody 
doesn't understand. I'm talking about hard candy, Lifesaver hard candy. So which hard candy would you rather? Yes, I should have said hard candy, but I didn't. And what did? What was your answer? Jolly Rancher. I'm gonna say Jolly Rancher too, because they have more flavor. Yeah, I like good. They're life stronger. Uh, Sixty-one percent said Jolly Rancher. I like a good lifesaver though too. Sometimes I haven't had one in ages, but. Would you rather compete in a potato sack race or a three-legged race? Potato. Potato. And I actually, just trivia about Tammy, uh, we used to have field day at school and we would have like the 50-yard dash and the 100-yard dash and we would have a sack race. I actually won a ribbon in the sack race. Now, I don't remember what I won. I don't remember if I won a blue ribbon or, or a red ribbon. Blue, of course, would have been number one. Red would be number two. I don't remember which one it was. I did get a blue ribbon one year for something. It could have been the sack race. Uh, but yeah, sack race. And 67% said a sack race. Have you ever done a sack race? Mm -hmm. yeah. And a three leg race, for that matter. Oh, have you? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've done that one. That's yeah, awful. And when we used to do the long jump, we would have the long jump. We did the spoon and the egg. Well, it was a ball. We didn't have eggs. We had balls. I, we didn't um, that. Balloon tosses, water balloon toss. I'm thinking about field day at school. Right. Yeah, me too. Um, but I tug of war. Remember. That was when you could actually do tug of war. They don't even do that anymore because it, it, the kids tear their hands up sometimes. Yeah. Um, stuff like that. Yeah, it was a lot. I always of volunteered for the ones that didn't require a lot of effort. So, who would you rather be, Batman or Superman? Superman. Superman. Sixty-four percent. I mean, Batman's Superman. cool, but he he doesn't have powers. He's just got money. <laughs> and a car, and a nice car. He's got gadgets he and does, money. He does have a nice car, but it's Superman definitely. Uh, Plus, would, Batman will get old and die. He's just human. Superman, who knows? Uh, would you rather watch shows as they air or binge watch all episodes at once? Binge them 100%. Binge. We love to binge watch. The only bad thing about binging is you, you it's over with so fast. That's the only bad thing. About and it. sometimes we have, we're guilty as anybody, we have watched things so fast that we can't even remember. Okay. Yeah, because the, the next season doesn't come on for another year and a half and you're like, what happened during that season? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so... You, but but we, what we end up doing is just binging the last three or four episodes of the previous season. Right, we yeah. do like we catch binge, back though. up. Would you rather I live... I think most people probably said that, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, binge is 77%. Yeah. Would you rather live like the Flintstones or the Jetsons? Jetsons. Jetsons, definitely. Yeah. Um, I used to daydream about that when I was a kid. 79% said the Jetsons. I mean, who doesn't want that life? Exactly. Know? Would you rather follow the yellow brick road or the white rabbit? Uh, yellow brick road. I'm going for the white that rabbit. That white rabbit, it's way too much. That's craziness. Yeah, but I love Alice in Wonderland and I love the I love the, the people that she meets the and she encounters. And yeah, I like the crazy. Yeah, I'm all about the crazy. 69% uh, though said the yellow brick road. Yeah, that's one I'd pick. Um, and then the one that's coming out tonight, I'm filming this on the 31st so that you can see it on the 1st so that you can watch it. So I don't have the numbers. We don't know how people are going to vote tonight. But the last question of, the, of July will be, would you rather eat cherry pie or apple pie? Mm -hmm. I know what, I know what you're going to I knew but, it. I knew it. I knew he'd say apple. But I like a good cherry pie too. I would say cherry. Yeah, apple. I love plain. cherry pie. So cherry pie, like, even if it's not like a warm cherry pie, even if we're talking about like a tasty cake or Intamins or whatever, those little hand pies, I would pick cherry all day yeah, long. That's the right apple. Now, when you're saying apple, do you like a little cinnamon in yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, you can't so, have apple without cinnamon. Okay, well, that's what I, that's I what mean, I mean, apple thinking. cinnamon caramel is even better, but you know, right. pure apple pie would be be good. Right. Well, I want to thank everyone who is uh, participating in these. I hope you, you enjoyed getting to hear what we have yeah. to say. I always enjoy getting to hear uh, 
what your opinion is and if you care to you know elaborate in the comments so like you vote and you elaborate hey i appreciate it very much and just remember it's all for fun it's all for fun just pick yeah. one don't pick one just for fun yeah it's just for fun so i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you uh, for another one of these at the end of august